Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from ComputerGuardGuard.com and in this video we are going to look at how to create a case sensitive lookup. So lookup functions like VLOOKUP are not case sensitive. So even if you type a lookup value like I have in I4 here when it looks down column A for that value it will find a match even though the values in column A are in uppercase and the way I entered it is in lower so it does not match the case now you're probably quite happy with that because it is a matching entry however we're going to use scenario that you are not and the case also has to be matching now we are going to use the index and match functions to do this if you're not familiar with these functions already they are definitely worth checking out. Find them on our Computer Gargar website. Check out the videos, learn about them. They're an extremely versatile and flexible lookup formula. Now, we also need the exact function in here because the exact function is what is going to ensure that two strings are exactly the same. Two pieces of text are exactly the same, including case. This will all be wrapped up in an array formula. Um, so we need to press Control, Shift, and Enter to finish because the exact function will look at a range. So exact will compare the strings, match will return the row number, index will pull out the value from that row number. Cell J4, we want to pull out the city of whatever ID is mentioned in I4. Equals index opening brackets index wants the array to look in where's the information it wants to pull out that's index job it will get the value for you i'm going to tell it to look in column e here or e2 to e92 to be precise and i'm going to fix that reference not that i'm planning on copying this formula anywhere but uh good habits good behavior i wouldn't really want this to to move typically uh, maybe, but let's assume not. Comma, row number. Well, this is the difficult question. I don't know what row that ID is in, but I know match can help me. Match, opening bracket. Match asks us, what is the lookup value or do you want to look for? Well, I'll look for whatever's in I4, but I want to match the case of it. So, exact function comes in checks whether two text strings are exactly the same returns true if they are false if they aren't so what we're actually going to do here is if I backtrack on that a moment you see exact was asking or sorry it was saying it will return true or false so in this match function when it says the lookup value, I'm going to ask it to look for true. Because I now know that that is what exact is going to bring out when it is successful. So I'll say look for true, comma, lookup array, meaning where do I look. Now we're going for exact opening bracket. And he wants the two pieces of text that we're looking at comparing. So text one is going to be I4, comma, text two, where it's typically one piece of text, is going to be a range of cells for us, which is what makes this an array formula. Now we need to match up column A, but as before, that is really A2 to A92, and I'm going to fix the reference. Maybe it's true to form, I should fix that one as well. <laughs> okay, uh, that are the two questions answered. Close in bracket and comma on the match function. So now it's a type of lookup. That is zero. That is exact match. Has to be a precise lookup. Close in bracket for match. Close in bracket for index. Control, shift, and enter. Don't just press enter. Control, shift, and enter. CSE formula, array formula. 
and I have an error message. But that is good because our ID is in lowercase. That is expected. Let's see it in uppercase. E1019, capital E, 1019. And now it returns the city. Whereas in lowercase, E1019 refuses it. It's not a match on case. So that is our case sensitive lookup using index, match, and exact within an array formula. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please check out some of our other uh, videos on our YouTube channel or check us out at computergaga.com.